Hello, and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Before we go over and see what uh, Gray's wifey has for us to do, we're going to uh, do a bit of a discussion about the five items that we had to collect for our author in the last episode. I've got the recording footage of my last episode pulled up on my other screen in front of me. And we are going to briefly go over what I think each one of these five items could be. Starting with the shiny hexagonal chip, the fourth one down on the list. I think that is... Honestly, I think that's a piece of an Ouroboros stone, but I personally think these Ouroboros stones are comprised of items from the worlds before the merging. Now, the leathery wing fossil, the very first one, I'm going to say is a Telethia wing from Xenoblade Chronicles. The Rusted Pressure Helm, I'm going to say, is a Salvager Helm from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The Sinister Faceplate, I'm going to guess, is a Faced Mechon Faceplate from Xenoblade Chronicles. And the Grimy Identification, the last item of five on the list, I'm going to guess is a Morathan ID Badge from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, without any further ado... Let's uh, go see what Gray's wife and Monica have for us. Hey, dearest. Got a minute for me? Sure. What's going on? You remember what we talked about? Mm. So help me, Gray. Y you mind sparing us the scowl? You're making them nervous. I highly doubt that. No, uh, actually you are. <laughs> there you have it. There's no helping this guy. Stubborn as they come, he is. Oh, yeah. You were, uh, married, weren't you? Oh, I didn't know you knew each other. This lady, she's Gray's partner, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. What about baby? You guys got any babies? Yeah, um... <clears throat> <laughs> so it seems that even the unflinching Grey can be caught unawares. Can we be done with the tomfoolery? Just tell me what you wanted, and quick. It's about the investigation. It was still ongoing until recently, but... Wait. Someone could overhear us if we do this here. I'll prepare a secure location. We can talk in more detail then. What are we even talking about? Nothing that concerns you. Actually, I'm thinking of asking for their help. What? They've been very cooperative in matters like this one. I think you'll find their assistance beneficial. Well, I will. Will I? Well, all right. Right then. Rosanna, you can fill them in. Sure thing. Thanks, Monica. I loved Gray's response to Yuni just asking if they had any kids. Payback for treason accepted. This is a hero quest and likely to be Gray's ascension. Right. Nobody should bother us here. Now let's hear it. Okay. Well, we've been investigating for a while and we discovered some suspicious activity from some of our own city folk. What suspicious activity? My husband here initially asked me if I could do something about the Hardliners' aggressive policies. We knew those guys were up to no good, so we were trying to take precautions. Well, listen to this. Apparently, the Hardliners might be using city technology to nefarious ends. It sounds like something was stolen from R&D. And we expect that that something will be abused to further their goals. Now we can't say what those are exactly. What could have driven them to this? You have to understand, this place isn't as monolithic as it might seem. Some folks take a really inflexible stance towards issues they might have, no matter how small. That's the long and short of it. Yes, it's just that this time, the problems have come to a head somewhat. We like to avoid unrest within the city as much as is reasonably possible. So I asked my husband for guidance. And additionally, I figured that you might lend your assistance as well. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on here. 
Yes, of course we'll help. Although, you know you could have come to us with this in the first place, right, Grey? <laughs> Sorry about my husband. You know, he's not the most communicative type. Understatement of the year. Huh. It just struck me. Grey's all... wrinkly. But you're not. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'm a lot younger than he is, so that's certainly part of it. Right, honey? <sighs> Come on, talk to us, Grey. Communication. You must have heard of it, at least. I know he looks like a right grump. He's a good bloke, really. That furrowed brow comes with age, too, I'm sure. Do I have to endure this much longer? <laughs> now I get it. I did wonder how a guy like Grey could cope in a place like this. You keep him on the straight and narrow. Oh dear, you really think so? <sighs> in any case, those things you collected also seem to have gone for a walk. So in short, you want us to take them back by force? There you go again, just asking for trouble. No need, I'm sure we can resolve this amicably. What I wanted to ask you is if you could collect some more. Some more of what, exactly? Oh, do you mean those things Grey was gathering? Yes, that's right. We've got an approximate location, so let me give you that first. We can handle this, no problem. Looks like we're doing this, G-Dog. Time to saddle up. Yes. I'll do some looking myself as well, I reckon. Don't throw you back out. That should be my line. You're always so reckless. I know. I know. So Grey's what passes for a good bloke round here, huh? I told you not to maunder on. They're going to Daedal Isle. Right. On it, boss. That is in the Cadenzia region, so this is the proper map activation. We do have a new default skip travel point with Eternal Canopy. Somewhere on this Isle of Death as well, it would look like. We're going to do our usual uh, swim boat around and see if there's a closer landing site. We will also quickly do a little... We're not quite in over our heads. There is our buoyancy operated aquatic transport. Out of the way, Quardoon. Aha! This is what we're looking for. This isn't worth our time. Faster way to swim. Get into combat and then repeatedly dash. When you no longer need it, just sheath your weapon and you're good. You won't auto attack while moving, so as long as you just keep uh, dashing repeatedly. You won't have to risk attacking anything that wouldn't attack you normally any either. I don't think we're going to be able to get to our objective from here. But we're going to beat up these Squaroars because they do have... Items needed for gem crafting. And we did find the answer to whether or not they can be found in the Cadenzia region. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. What are you hiding, little guy? 
Ah, nop on coins in a colony container. Faked me out there, game. Minimized fall damage there. Okay, yes, this is obviously Daedal Isle. I think we're going to have to try and make our run past some dangerous bugs. And when I say dangerous, I do mean dangerous. They could look at us cross-eyed and one-shot us. No. Uh, that's not what we wanted to do at all. Nope, not what I wanted either. I wanted X. X and B, well, B being in the place where the cross button is on PlayStation kind of fouls me up for trying to get X. A run past dangerous bugs, take two. We're auto-selling Sky Clams here already, so there's that as well. Hoping these wisps are not aggressive. That would be a series first, however, if they were. However, for these big plambus here to not be aggressive would also be a series first. So we'll steal, steer clear of them. Oi, how are we meant to fight? I think we got a leg it. Ah, crap. Series first. Well, at least there's no way over to it from Big Bug Beach. We've ruled Big Bug Beach out, so... Our next teleport point is going to be a Virtuous Gulkin's Grave. Oh man, they've really gone and done it now. Something so valuable here. We're lacking some Gulkin drops, so we will go and pick those up. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. Here we are above Big Bug Beach, but so far I don't see a way over to where we need to be. But we could be in for a shower. Huh? Is that? We're gonna cut our losses. Head back to a Big Bug Beach. We'll explore where over here leads briefly. If not, we can always just head straight back to Big Bug Beach and go again. This time in a boat. Is this like a rare thing? 
And back to Big Bug Beach. I'll do full exploration, full map uncovering off camera so you guys don't have to watch through all of that. Out of the way. Coming through. Like Storm and the Beach is on D-Day. Not really. They were a lot more overt in that. And it was a lot bigger stakes riding on the line than just some fetch quest for Gray's wife. Well... This panned out just absolutely, um, not lovely. Oh. You know what happens. Go back to Big Bug Beach and try again. Sorry, first pillar remnant and try again. Daedal Isle is uh, based on the remains of the largest of the titans of the, Lith of the Lithurian Archipelago. It is not the Lithurian Titan, as that was buried in the cloud scene, was not directly explorable in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That is not where we want to climb up. That there is the beach we just tried. I'm starting to wonder if we're able to do this about story progress. <laughs> we'll make our way up here one final time. We're going to make one last daring attempt up through Big Bug Beach. I have not ruled out that we might need more story progress for before this becomes possible. But for now, we are going to attempt to reach uh, the destination. does not look like we're able to get on through here. I'm going to look this up a little bit and be back when I found something out. See you guys. And we are back. I found a way forward. Hopefully. Yes, we have a zip line here that we can grind down. Take this down. 
All right. Into the belly of the beast we go. Our chances. I and that's us down. A one rip for us. Oh, back here we are. Oh, something's coming down. Yeah, our chances of survival. I myself whale the person was raised as a swimmer, so we will attempt to take the water route to avoid any dicey situations. I don't like our chances. A lot of elites around here. Tough snuffer on our case. And two rips. Oh, the water is not safe. I repeat, the water is not safe. And we have massive monkeys around here, birds of death, everything I don't want to see. This is still nerve wracking even with the 8 meters reduced enemy detection range. Awanic Goggles, or Awanic Goggles, one of those two, probably. Rotten Caterpiles. Is this, like, a rare thing? I don't really think we've ever seen a fresh Caterpile, but okay. What are you hiding, little guy? A few silver coins for our trouble. Ugh. 
And the extra trouble being was all that was for nothing. Well, time to look for another way around, because that did not work either. Should not have had this be a available so early type of quest. the Plambus. Right, this way. We can get through here unscathed. They're too busy hitting each other to notice us. We gotta get past this big boy without waking him up somehow. Easier to get past than, to, than Immovable Gonzalez in Xenoblade 2. And how do we get through here? I'm just gonna pause the recording. I will be back once I've reached our objective. We are not there, but we have made progress. We are now on the other side of that pool. I did end up going back to the start location after dying to one of these Quarmu in here. And uh, this time I went to the water route this time and clung as close as I could to the wall and did not aggro anything. So let's uh, keep going. 
Climbable wall here is good. And we have a husk to off -see. No, I will not be recreating the path I took. Uh, this was very annoying. I do not want to do this ever again. I'll probably just hold off on my own personal playthrough on this quest until Gray is... and just not ascend Gray's full metal Jaguar quite yet. And wait for a possible time when we can go in guns blazing. Antles, equivalent to Arachnos here. Plenty of these guys around here. All right. Oi, how are we meant to fight that? <sighs> Here we are. Is it supposed to be here? If she had information to pass us, it must have come from Monica. That ought to make it trustworthy. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. We still haven't found a thing yet. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything here, either. Doesn't look like it's gonna turn up. How about we just give up and head back already? Hmm. Oi, Grey, you listening? I said... Wait. An ambush, eh? Huh? You finally made it, Grey. And you are? Looks like the info was good. We'll have a bit of your time, if you don't mind. Okay! Time to bring them all down! I see the wisdom in this now. Draw them to an incredibly dangerous area like this. Put them down. Make it look like the wildlife got him. But we'll show them the error of their ways. First time fighting loss numbers. What just happened here? They look vaguely like lost numbers. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to be our allies. I suspect they're just an irritant, sent here to slow me down. But who'd want to slow you down? Are they part of that opposing faction you were banging on about? Hmm. So then, these soldiers would have to be... They're part of Monica's faction, no question. But even that's got its share of radicals like these guys. The ones that like to stir things up. Stir up what, though? Nothing good, I guess. Their ultimate objective is the eradication of Mobius. But they'll stop at nothing to achieve it. That's where the trouble starts. They see the key pieces aligned on the board. Even Ouroboros are now in play. Now all it will take is to wrench the command from Monica and the entire city could be mobilized. Could they really do that? There are ways. Steal enough Levnissers from us, 
Whittle away at Monica's support. And soon she'll be wide open. Hard to tell exactly how they'll make their move. But it seems they've decided the time is ripe. Okay. And what's that got to do with slowing you down? Unlike most city folk, I'm a lone wolf. Might be they didn't account for me in their calculations and just... simplified the maths. Since Gray's not usually in the city, they would have to get him where they want him, then restrict his movements. Oh, right. Now I'm with you. You see? Uh, hang on. One more thing. Doesn't that still seem weird? It was Rosanna that told us to come here, right? That's right. And we were ambushed. That would suggest an information leak. What do you want to do now? Whoever goes up against me, they're getting crushed. That's all. And what about Rosanna? We're going back to the city. Come on, keep up. I hope you weren't followed. <sighs> We've got enough decoys to keep them off our case, so I doubt they'd find us so easily. Still, if we keep twiddling our thumbs, it's only a matter of time before they rumble us. We've already sent men. Well, that was unavoidable. He's Vandam's man through and through. Five years we've been biding our time. Now that we have a chance, we can't let it pass us by. Yes, agreed. So why'd you jeopardize everything by stealing that thing? If it hadn't been me that noticed first, our whole plan could have gone up in smoke. Well, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been taking your sweet time with this thing. Calm down, both of you. They'll never find this place. And even if they do realize something's amiss, I've got ways to keep Monica off the scent. If you say so. Getting her out of here will leave one fewer obstacle in the city. The only problem is Grey. Some problem, though. He fought with Guernica on the front lines. And his nose is as sharp as ever. Still, you can handle him, yeah? Oh, don't you worry about that. Well, that should earn us some time. I don't see any outstanding issues. Rosanna's close to the core of the R&D team. And most importantly, she has Monica's ear. She'll use her non-combatant position if it's her neck on the line. Even if she has to betray her own husband. We'll be under more scrutiny than ever. So don't you dare do anything stupid. Trust me, I won't. I wouldn't throw my back out for nothing. If the others try to hinder our plans, we might have to actually use this thing. Best we put our plans in motion ASAP. Seriously, how could our whereabouts have been leaked? The investigation comes later. First, back to the city. Let's, yeah, let's talk about it where there are giant birds of death everywhere. So, uh, I wonder how long uh, Gray and Rosanna have been married yet. Something about something tells me about maybe uh five years. Gray, you're the guy who works with Monica. There's something I wanted to pick your brains about. Hmm. Let's hear it. I've heard your Rosanna has been trying to get outside. I see. She was stopped by the soldiers and turned back just like that, they say. Just for my own conscience, I went to check it with the R&D team, but they said she'd not come in that day. Whoa, is she okay? What if she was forced into something by that lot who attacked us? You were attacked? It's nothing. Keep going. Right, well, that's about it. It just seemed a bit fishy, is all, which is why I wanted it noted. What did Monica have to say? Um, about that. She actually took an away team and went out. 
Something about a request from Rosanna? It seemed urgent. I mean, I suppose it must have been to get the boss moving like that. I wonder what that's all about. No clue. But I'll look into it. Appreciate it. Really, I do. Somehow, I don't feel like sticking my neck out myself here. Great. Do you know where Rosanna could be? I haven't the faintest idea. You seem real relaxed for someone whose partner's missing, pal. She made Monica leave the city and tried to go outside herself, too. That does feel rather odd. Furthermore, Rosanna should be aware of the dangers that await a non-combatant on the outside. Right? And if there was something she needed from beyond, couldn't she have just asked Monica? Well, you want to contribute or what? Whatever the case may be, Rosanna's tough. She'll be fine. Huh? I don't know doesn't suspect went, a thing. But I can think of a few people who might. Well then, shall we try asking them? That might be the quickest way. Who are we asking then? You poor, poor fool, Gray. Mechanic and an old friend. Hey, well, well. Will friends sample delights of Emporium of Well Well? Well Well stock much exotic wares, likes of which friend never see. Novels, paintings, things of battle, priceless things to make heart glad and rich. Well Well very glad if friends draw closer and sample excellence of artistry. We'll do that sometime Well Well, but right now... A drum drum, eh buddy? I need to ask you something. Friend mean about Rosanna? That's right. Rosanna apparently been busy lately. Drum Drum not seen her for three days. Shame would have liked to spend more time tinkering with automaton. An automaton? That's right, had to regulate settings on some automaton. Gray, did you know about this? I didn't. Haven't even heard. So this automaton you regulated, where is it now? Drum Drum know it in Heidi Place, and not know any more than that. You were working on an automaton, but you don't know where it was. Drum Drum told it question of trade secret. Had to walk to place of eyes covered, Drum Drum think. Was still in city, but maybe on a very tippy edge. Got it. That'll be all. Rosanna's whereabouts one of three. Hey, Drum Drum. Drum Drum is loyal and grateful disciple of Master Pon. Master Pon not only master of Levnesses, but all vehicles, weapons, and tools. Very clever about all these things. Mr. Salmon's a real expert, isn't he? Correct, a real deal Master Pon of Drum Drum. Right, heading on from that, mites. Seems though that our appearance in this city has really shaken some things up. Clara? Oh my, now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. I have a question for you. Well, that's unexpected. Tell me, what do you and I have to talk about? Do you know where Rosanna is? Rosanna, no, I don't believe I do. She's not like the rest of us, that girl. We don't have very much in common. What do you mean, exactly? Oh, you know, her, her way of thinking. It's not really compatible with ours. She's the kind of child who will do anything to get her way, is little Rosanna. Enough chit-chat. Do you know anything? If you don't know anything, then we're done here. Now, is that any way to treat your elders? So callous, Gray. Come off it. I'm old enough to be your brother. I wish you wouldn't waste my time. Saucy as ever. All right, so listen here. I don't know where she is, but I can tell you a fascinating little tidbit. Rosanna happens to have some connections with my people. You mean the conservatives? Being a doctor ought to make one impartial, but that rule isn't as reliable these days. 
also we've had to accept medicine from the girl at times. And at times we've been known to feed her a few scraps of information. I get the picture. That's enough. I'll say again, Rosanna is a good girl. But she's also a girl who puts her ends far above c considering her means. You have to keep a tight rein on those types so you never know what they might get up to. Hmm. Rosanna's whereabouts, two or three. Oh, so that's how they're doing. <laughs> hey, Hollis, we're coming to you a lot lately. Got a question for you. Nice to see you too, Gray. Rosanna's missing. Know anything? Hmm, Rosanna? Well, she hasn't been here, I can tell you that much. Look, I know you've had dealings with her. Tell me what you know. You're trying to make a point or something? I just owe the girl a debt, that's all. What kind of debt? Oh, for the love of the founders, fine, I'll tell you. Got a feeling you won't leave me alone until I do. I got in some trouble with the hardliners some five years ago, all right. Their leader, Brew, gave me a real good thumping. But Rosanna stepped in and made the bastards leave me be. Anyways, since then, I've been uh, greasing wheels for her. A little here and there. I see. Once I even rustled up some medicine she said she needed. The hardliners again. Come to think of it, why was Rosanna even around that time? It's, all, it's always kind of bothered me, to be honest. I don't know exactly what they'd been planning, but they sure were about to wreak a merry havoc on this place. I'm definitely grateful to Rosanna for that, if nothing else. But yeah, that's about the size of it. Do you know where the hardliners are? I... I could say I don't, but I doubt you'd listen. Oh, go on, then. I'll tell you. One place is on the edge of Ribley... P uh, uh, Ribelli Plaza. I don't know the exact location, but they like using that area a lot. Another's in the Great Sword Passage. Although I have to say, I'm not sure if that one's like a room or what. Other than that, I suppose there's... Mitya Lookout, maybe? You can see across the whole city from there. As long as they can't make any big moves, I suspect they'll be in hiding. Understood. That's enough. I can't imagine what you're going through, you know. But she's a stubborn one, that girl. You couldn't rein her in if you tried. Hmm. I didn't ask for your opinion. Rosanna's whereabouts, three of three, a new topic available. I think we found out all that we can now. Time we pulled our info. Yep. What better place to pool info than at a camp? Let's rest and heal up. Sorry, Mia, we're not doing that. Rosanna's whereabouts required hero gray. Hey, so can we talk? Let's sum up what we've learned. First, we know Rosanna tried to send Gray and Monica out of the city. And we heard she tried to leave it herself as well. But it seemed unexpected for Rosanna to try and go outside. It could have been a message of some kind. A message? A message to convey the fact that she didn't leave the city, for instance. So what, you think she was trying to tell Gray something? We can't discount the possibility. She may have already become involved in some difficulties at that juncture. Hey, those uh, hardliner guys that attacked us, you think they're connected? Their goal is to eradicate Mobius. I wouldn't put it past them to get city people involved. To my eyes, that's something to consider. Back up a sec. Rosanna has no way to fight, right? So why is she going against the hardliners? That's a good point. Additionally, she was also said to have connections to the conservatives. Right. Yeah, there is that. Of course, she might have. She might just have personal friends who happen to fall on both sides. That wouldn't be so strange. But that fact does strike me as somewhat calculated, even mercenary. Gray, do you have anything you can tell us? 
I don't know how she got involved in all this, but Rosanna, she'll do whatever it takes. When she said on something, there's no stopping that woman. If a connection to another faction can serve as a means to her end, there's no doubt in my mind she'll make use of them. I guess she did send us on that wild Meduse chase. We did think... Uh, do we think she's in league with the Hardliners and that's why she tried to get us snuffed out? It's possible. Wouldn't put a past her. Well then, what the spark are we nattering on here for? Right, perhaps we should start checking the places where the Hardliners are rumored to hang out. Nice idea, but going by that doctor, I doubt they're all going to be neatly cooped in one place. So, shall we just go over them one by one, then? That doesn't strike me as realistic. There's no telling when they might make their move. Speaking of which, I'm worried by the mention of an automaton. Yeah, if those, yeah, if those things get deployed inside the city... Then we deal with those first. But we don't eat, but we don't really know where they are. Let's see, the doctor gave us three suspected locations. True, annoyingly, there are multiple possibilities for the location of their hideout. Well then, let's start with whoever's most likely then, I guess. No need. The places the good doctor gave us were meant to pinpoint the the hardliner stronghold. And the knop on Drum Drum provided a hint to the automaton's location. Ah, gotcha. If we put those clues together... Exactly. We can discount the place overlooking the city, as well as the Rebelli Plaza area. Just an educated guess, but if I was gonna hide an automaton anyway, it would be the third place. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get our asses over there! How are we looking out there? Monica's still gone, but Gray's back with Ouroboros, looks like. That guy really doesn't know when to quit. Still, if we can just disrupt the command chain, everything else should fall into place, right? Finally. Our toy will have its day. Of course. It's high time we got to use this thing, and I couldn't think of a better opportunity. Oh, yes. She turned out exactly as I'd hoped. You're a sly one, aren't you? Getting people to accept you, then using them as you like. I'm sorry. What? Skilled technologists from R&D always have to be... managed, to a degree. We've watched you closely. And you've never leaked info about our actions to anyone. You've helped us come this far. Regardless of the results, you've made your bed as our accomplice. You're still not making any sense. You think the plan's going to fail? I don't intend to let this opportunity pass me by. Whatever happens, I'll leave my mark on this city. I promise you that. This is our chance to gain the upper hand in one fell swoop. No need to get gloomy. Yes, that's exactly it. We'll have Ouroboros in our hands, and we won't have to fight them. No more hiding. No more biding our time. No more taking anyone's crap. That stuff's for the birds. Guernica, Monica, they're too soft by half. We'll cause a disturbance in the city, then use the confusion to steal away all the Levnesses. Brilliant! With Monica gone, now's our window. We'll suppress the military and have them hand over the leadership. Once we bend Ouroboros to our command, all we have to do is squish Mobius under our thumb. You think they'll ally themselves with us? Even after we cause all this ruckus? Ha! They're just a bunch of kids. They'll be putty in our hands. Right. Yeah. Putty in our hands, indeed.
right. Let's take these dogs down! To quote Xenoblade Chronicles 2's Van Dam. Cadenzia region full. We are not going near that Isle of Death anytime soon ever again. Hopefully. Please no. The Sword Face! We're going to go to the wrong location. It's going to be the first one. And that's how they're going to raise their havoc. A door. A most invisible door. Is it really here? Be on the lookout for a hidden door. Anything that strikes you is odd. Was it meant to be here somewhere? Looks like a whole load of nothing. Well, this is where the doc said. Wait. Hmm. Here. How did you know? Too much effort to explain. Let's just go. Are all old people this cranky? Beats me. Come on, let's just follow him. Nope, not old people, just Grey. If Grey had been the one guarding the Ouroboros stone, he would have shot us dead. us out all the way out here you're like a right proper hound ha you're right on the money there he's vandam's little doggy is what he is there's nothing for you here gray go wag your tail somewhere else whoa they're really laying into you go on gray give him a real tongue lashing no need what sure there is you're not gonna let these clods make fun of you and have the last word Ouroboros are still just kids, and it shows. If they're your latest traveling companions, then oh, how the mighty have fallen. If you're here, I assume it's because you figured out our plan. Looks like we'll have to get rough. Or are you gonna sit there like a good pooch and lick yourself? Yeah, I'm not that flexible. First... I'll kill you. You. I'll keep alive for now. Might still kill you later. If you don't tell me anything worthwhile. Whoa. I knew we were gonna see action today. But this is more than I signed up for. Yeah. Doesn't spark around, does he? Ouroboros are your only allies now. Rosanna is on our side. You still wanna fight? Of course. It is, after all, my job. Loyal to a fault. That's a hound for you. But you can't protect the city with that wimpy attitude. Today, this hour, the city will be transformed. And the cause of peace demands a sacrifice. Gotta get through us first! I don't know if this is the Cadenzia region theme or not, but whatever it is, it is amazing! Time to go with Ouroboros for this one.
will bail out here. And now the theme reaches its low part. Oh, now I recognize what this is. This is a cutscene theme. I think we heard it in the throne room most recently. That it is. That it is. Okay, Gray. This is the end. A Gray back in action. Got the break on it now. We are going to go with a topple. Tie on back in action. The Gray's order. Uh, this is going to be a big whiff. You can't get away. Oh, not too big of a whiff because Tyon's back. Mio! Start the overkill town. Death of a thousand cuts. Let's get everyone back in here for this. Nice. Here we go. Amazing death of a thousand cuts. One point eight four million. What? What the? What's happened? You bitch! What did you do, Rosanna? Oh, didn't I tell you? There's a power threshold. Like a maximum? It's an interesting system. Little Drum Drum and I incorporated it. So now you decide to turn on us. You'll wish you hadn't done this. No. I haven't betrayed anyone at any point. 
It seems to me it's completely slipped your mind. When you were all acting so fishy five years ago. It was me who broached the subject to you when you roughed up the doctor back then. You don't remember? And the conservative leader, Garrett, who put you in touch with him? Me again. We'd round up all the unsavories and toss the trash all at once. And now, your time's up. My dear husband doesn't like me staying out too long. So now my part in this is over. Here we go. Rosanna, Gray, you bastards! Oh, so that's how they're doing. I'll leave none of them left alive. Lead off with a bit of Ouroboros here. Right. You really so sure your will is immovable there, buddy? A drop out after that. Time to take you down. Prepared for this. If I'm a hound, I follow no master. Man, I could have sworn Rosanna was one of the bad guys. Me too. Even you thought so, right? Why would I? Uh, those shady dealings for a start. They didn't set off any alarm bells for you. Honey, do you realize people can't read your mind? I told you not to throw your back out. Not what I was talking about, but I'll bite. You really can't stop being reckless, can you? We're all still alive. I don't think that counts as reckless. Now, Guernica, he's the one who was reckless. But then again, even his actions may well have borne fruit. We're back to talking in riddles again. The original idea was for me to stop the hardliners myself, without involving all of you in this. So I'm sorry. I'm sure it was quite a burden. I don't get the thinking here. Surely you could have just asked Gray for help in the first place. Our opposition would have noticed something was up. They'd never have lowered their guard like that. They thought they had me pegged as weak. That's what made it easy for them to bring me aboard. That's basically it. How much did Monica know? Oh, she knows me. When I needed her out of the city, she obliged without a single peep. Some things you have to say out loud, and others go without saying. You know how it is. Um, nah, I really don't. <laughs> well, then one day, you will. Huh. One of those things, is it? Yep. Better get used to it. Hmm. What? The point of us old timers is to keep you youngsters on the right path. If you trust us, you don't have to hurry so much to try and understand things. Oh my! Someone's a chatterbox today. <sighs> oh, for Spark's sake, could you not? All this beating around the bush is driving me up the wall. <laughs> Why don't I translate for you? He's saying he wants to keep working with you for a long time to come. See, that I can understand. Right back at you, Gray. That's complete. Payback for treason. Zero experience, 4,600 gold, and 10 soul points.
Thanks to Rosanna's wits and gray skills, the hardliner's scheme was foiled. Hero class rank limit broken. Ash and Pelt Gray, Full Metal Jaguar, rank increased to 20. Rank cap for the class is now lifted. Class rank can now reach level 20. Oh, so that's how they're doing. All right. Let's see. Yeah, Tyon hit his cap in Full Metal Jaguar during that. The rest of them still have a bit to go before they can rank up. We'll see if we get that in future hero quests. So with that, we are going to end this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 here. I have been your Captain Whale. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All three of those help me out immensely and cost you nothing more than a few moments of your time. But without any... But with that all the way, without any further ado, I hope you all are having a fantastic day's whale pod. But until next time, this is goodbye.